One of the great things about SPPS apps documents is that you can easily work on these documents collaboratively online with students or staff. The way to do that is to share your document. So go up to the top right of your document to the share box. Right now you can see this document is private to just me, meaning I'm the only person that's aware that this document exists. I can click on this blue share button though, and I can change these sharing privileges. To invite people to your document, you can type their name or their email address into this box at the bottom. While you're typing their name, their email address will automatically pop up for you. If you notice while typing someone's name that it shows their first initial, last name, and a set of numbers, that means you're selecting a student. If you're selecting staff, then it should show you their first name, last name, without numbers unless of course they have a really common name that there are several different people in the district with. So just be careful as you're sharing the document to make sure that you're selecting students when you want to share with students and staff when you want to share with staff. In this case I'm going to type in a couple of demo accounts to share with. So you can see that it's just automatically popping these up and I can just select them by either clicking return or clicking on them. Right now I'm inviting these two accounts, these two people, to share this document. It has a little check mark here meaning that it's going to send these two people an email letting them know that I've shared a document with them. I can also click on add message and it will give me a space to type a little message. Just so the person gets a little bit more information in their email than just a link. So maybe I want to say, um, give me some feedback on this unit about trees. So this would be some colleagues that I'm sharing with. Or I can also send a copy to myself if I really want to get another copy. And right now I can see that I'm going to allow these two people to edit the document just as I can. If I only wanted them to comment, I could change this so that they can't actually change anything in the document, but they could put some comments off to the side. Or maybe I just want them to view it. They can see it, but they can't do anything else with the, with the text. For right now, I'm going to allow these two people to edit this document as well. And then when I click send, it will add their names right here. I can always come back later and say, you know, I really just want this person to only be able to comment and not to edit the document. And then I could click save. Maybe even later I'll decide, you know, I'm not even sure I want to share the document with this person. And I could delete them from the document just by clicking the X. You'll notice that they're grayed out, and as soon as I click on Save Changes, they're now gone from the document. And then when I click Done, if I go back to Share, I'll notice that I'm sharing this document with this person. I could also appear at the top where it says Specific People Can Access. If I click on Change, I could make this document public on the web so that anybody who happens to Google something and finds this document could could edit it as well or I could let's let them view or just let them comment I could make it anyone with a link so only people that I'm emailing the link to or if I posted the link on this for this on on an urban planet website they could find it I could even restrict it a little bit further to only students or staff in St. Paul, so only people in our SPPS apps domain, or just to people in our SPPS apps domain, students and staff who have the link, or again, just to specific people that I'm adding by typing their name in to share with them. And then if I wanted to change what they could do, you could see here for people with SPPS apps logins, they could view this, I could make it so they, they could comment, or even if I wanted them to edit because I'll all be logged in, right? Okay, for now though, I think I'll just leave this 
with the specific people and I'll click on save. And so it's only this one other account that I'm sharing with for the moment and I'll click done. If I look at my drive account now, I can see this document right here that I've shared and I can tell that it's shared from looking at my drive because it actually puts shared, the word shared right next to the title of, of each document if I've shared it with other people. So I can see here this document's also shared. So just another way that you can quickly see that your documents are shared.